as someone in my mid-40s, I, like most people, probably know William Henry Harrison from one thing, The Simpsons. In the episode where they're doing the presentation on the various presidents, the line, I'm Willie Henry Harrison, I died in 30 days, well, it's been burned into my mind through countless reruns and listening to the compilation CD of The Simpsons songs. What else is there to know about Harrison? Well, there's Tippy Canoe, of course, and that he was the only Whig ever elected president, even though it didn't last long, and his vice president, Taylor, really didn't do many Whig-like things. This is a short biography from a larger series of short biographies on the U.S. presidency. I think they're caught up to date, with the exception of Biden. It's basically 30,000 words, which, to give you some idea, took me 45 minutes to read. It's about half the length of the average book, the average novel at least, which starts at around 60k. Nonfiction tends to be even longer than that, so this is really, really brief. I get the idea they wanted to create a uh, simple narrative that you could just pick up and go. Um, weirdly enough, the introduction talks about how this is supposed to be also academic. Well, not really. Uh, there aren't, like I, I would have liked a further reading section, for instance, if you're going to tell me that this present needs to be known about, then tell me where to learn more. Uh, I found that frustrating. That being said, what we do get here is a decent enough discussion of his early life, his education, and how he became president, even if you can't really do much with the president part, besides the inaugural was in the cold and he was very active in, around Washington and got was assumed to be in pneumonia and died. Uh, there are basically two big threads here. Uh, the one thread is his dubious relations with um, Indians in what would become Indiana. He was uh, appointed to the governorship of, of the Indiana Territory before it was turned into a state. And, yes, slavery. And how he, like most people, was kind of in the squishy middle. And he was associated with um, the, the southern class, but in his personal life, he did seem to go above and beyond to um, be more on the abolitionist side of things, which, of course, doesn't make him a hero or a villain. So if you're doing the simplistic look at history that we assume someone has to be one thing or another, he gets messy. And it's kind of hard to do that messiness in 30,000 words. I have read a couple other books in this series. Um, I think they were more successful than this, partly because, yes, there is not a presidency ready to discuss. Uh, and I understand they had to kind of deal with this because that's the nature of the series, is you're doing the president, so yes, you have to the guy that died almost immediately and basically did nothing. His first lady never made it to the White House. He never appointed a Supreme Court justice, that kind of thing. So, did I like this? Does it, which list does it go in? I'd say yes. It's competently done what's here. Will I need to reread this anytime soon? Or ever, quite frankly? Um, no. It's maybe a 10-year book. Um, I could probably find more on uh, Fallen Timbers and Tippy Canoe, the, the two major, in quotation marks, battles he was a part of. Um, and really, Tippy Canoe is more interesting for what it says about the creation of party politics in the U.S. and, and marketing the presidency than it is about a, a military thing. So, um, okay, I read it. I'm pretty sure I got it cheap on Kindle. So, but, but not a, a life-changing book, shall we say. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And hopefully next book will be a little more interesting. Have a good day and keep reading.